Aristotle. The Greek philosopher Aristotle, 384-322 BC, made significant and lasting contributions to nearly every aspect of human knowledge, from logic to biology to ethics and aesthetics. Though overshadowed in classical times by the work of his teacher Plato, from late antiquity through the Enlightenment, Aristotle's surviving writings were incredibly influential. In Arabic philosophy, he was known simply as the first teacher, in the West, he was the philosopher. Aristotle's Early Life Aristotle was born in 384 BC in Stagira in northern Greece. Both of his parents were members of traditional medical families, and his father, Nicomachus, served as court physician to King Amentus III of Macedonia. His parents died while he was young, and he was likely raised at his family's home in Stagira. At age 17 he was sent to Athens to enroll in Plato's academy. He spent 20 years as a student and teacher at the school, emerging with both a great respect and a good deal of criticism for his teacher's theories. Plato's own later writings, in which he softened some earlier positions, likely bear the mark of repeated discussions with his most gifted student. When Plato died in 347, control of the academy passed to his nephew Spusippus. Aristotle left Athens soon after, though it is not clear whether frustrations at the academy or political difficulties due to his family's Macedonian connections hasten his exit. He spent five years on the coast of Asia Minor as a guest of former students at Assos and Lesbos. It was here that he undertook his pioneering research into marine biology and married his wife Pythias, with whom he had his only daughter, also named Pythias. In 342 Aristotle was summoned to Macedonia by King Philip II to tutor his son, the future Alexander the Great, a meeting of great historical figures that, in the words of one modern commentator, made remarkably little impact on either of them. Aristotle and the Lyceum Aristotle returned to Athens in 335 BC. As an alien, he couldn't own property, so he rented space in the Lyceum, a former wrestling school outside the city. Like Plato's Academy, the Lyceum attracted students from throughout the Greek world and developed a curriculum centered on its founder's teachings. In accordance with Aristotle's principle of surveying the writings of others as part of the philosophical process, the Lyceum assembled a collection of manuscripts that comprised one of the world's first great libraries. Aristotle's Works It was at the Lyceum that Aristotle probably composed most of his approximately 200 works, of which only 31 survive. In style, his known works are dense and almost jumbled, suggesting that they were lecture notes for internal use at his school. The surviving works of Aristotle are grouped into four categories. The Organon is a set of writings that provide a logical toolkit for use in any philosophical or scientific investigation. Next come Aristotle's theoretical works, most famously his treatises on animals, parts of animals, movement of animals, etc., cosmology, the physics, a basic inquiry about the nature of matter and change, and the metaphysics, a quasi-theological investigation of existence itself. Third are Aristotle's so-called practical works, notably the Nicomachean Ethics and Politics, both deep investigations into the nature of human flourishing on the individual, familial, and societal levels. Finally, his rhetoric and poetics examine the finished products of human productivity, including what makes for a convincing argument and how a well-wrought tragedy can instill cathartic fear and pity.